nine year old boy is brought to the emergency department because of uncontrollable bleeding from his nose after being hit in the face with a soccer ball. Further questioning reveals that the boy has been taking aspirin recently for the viral illness, that he has a history of prolonged bleeding and that his mother and two cousins suffer from a bleeding disorder. Laboratory tests reveal a prolonged bleeding time, a prolonged PTT and a normal PT. As you pack the boy's nose, you advise him and his family to avoid aspirin use because you suspect that they have affected with the most common hereditary bleeding disorder. This is the clue. What is the most common hereditary bleeding disorder over here? Always for this disorder, they talk about nosebleeds with the minor injuries. And majority of the cases for in your exam, they'll talk about history of aspirin with the viral illness, okay? And the age is approximately, they'll talk about like seven to 11 years for this. What this is we are like talking about? Answer quick. What is the most common hereditary bleeding disorder? Yes, it is a von Willebrand disease. So von Willebrand disease is an autosomal dominant disease marked by the deficiency of the von Willebrand factor. And the von Willebrand disease is the most common hereditary bleeding disorder. And remember, affecting 1% of all people, especially in United States. Affecting 1% of all people that's the reason it is the most common hereditary bleeding disorder. So because of the lack of von Willebrand factor, which causes impaired platelet addition, mainly to the subendothelium during the vascular injury, because during the vascular injury, the platelets adhere to the vascular endothelium, subendothelial cells. So whenever there's a lack of von Willebrand factor, which is mainly responsible for the addition, so now it causes impaired platelet addition to the subendothelium during the vascular injury that causes like deficient platelet plaque formation. That's what you need to write in your notes. Defective platelet plaque formation. So because the von Willebrand factor also acts as a carrier protein for the factor eight. This you should know for your exam. Von Willebrand factor acts as a carrier protein for the factor 8. The deficient Von Willebrand factor resulting in the functional deficiency of the factor 8. This is the MCQ related question. Which factor deficiency you will see when there is a Von Willebrand disease and your answer should be a factor 8 because the deficient Von Willebrand factor results in the functional deficiency of the factor 8. It is not the actual deficiency of the factor 8. Because the von Willebrand factor acts as a carrier protein for the factor 8, even though factor 8 is present, there is a functional deficiency of the factor 8 mainly in the von Willebrand disease. Thereby, mainly 8, we know that factor 8 is responsible for the intrinsic uh, pathway of the coagulation, so impairing the intrinsic pathway of coagulation. Now, what about the clinical manifestations? So clinical manifestation present with the mucosal bleeding. They're present with epistaxis, gingival bleeding, menorrhagia. All the three are seen. Mucosal bleeding is most uh, evident in almost all the cases of von Willebrand disease. That's what you need to underline. Mucosal bleeding is the marker for this. And the lab findings with the prolonged PTT, prolonged bleeding time, but normal PT as well as normal TT, that is thrombin time. Prolonged prothrombin time, prolonged bleeding time, like uh, normal PT and the normal TT, normal thrombin time. This is what about the clinical manifestation. And uh, the treatment include avoid aspirin because it works as like inhibitor of the Cox pathway and other anticoagulants 
and desmopressin can be considered to be the treatment of choice or in most severe advanced cases factor 8 replacement if necessary otherwise you know desmopressin is considered to be the treatment of choice in the von willebrand disease in most severe cases replacement of the factor 8 is indicated this is the case of von willebrand disease